Good afternoon, guys. We have reached the last topic for our midterms. And it is entitled, Human Flourishing in Progress and the Development. So, for our module learning objectives, describe the characteristics of human flourishing in context of science and technology. Explain what the development means and differentiate traditional notions of progress and the development. So, what is human flourishing? Okay, human flourishing is an effort to achieve self-actualization and fulfillment within the context of a larger community of individuals, each with the right to pursue his or her own such efforts, involves the rational use of one's individual human potentialities, including talents, abilities, and virtues in the pursuit of his freely and rationally chosen values and goals. So we have a question here. How do we know we are progressing? So how can you assess yourself if you are progressing? Of course, there are signs that uh, that can tell you that you are, you are growing or you are continuously progressing. Okay, As you reach adulthood, okay, everybody here is adult now, right? So you might uh, figure out or you might notice that you have lost relationships. It's either a loved one or your friends, okay? As you grow old, your circular friends became smaller. Okay? Hindi gaya na dati, no high school, you need to be with a large group of people. But as you grow old, you value quality more than quantity na. Right? Next sign that you are progressing is you are doubting your next step. Okay? Why? Bakit kapag nagda-doubt ka, you are on the right track? Okay? Bakit? Because when you are doubting, you are contemplating with yourself, okay? You are being rational. Nagkakaroon ka ng uh, pag-iisip kung itutuloy mo ba yung next step mo or kung anong next step yung pipiliin mo. That only means na nag-iisip ka na, okay? So, if you are progressing, you are doubting your next step. Another, you feel slightly embarrassed of your past self. Bakit? Na-try nyo na ba yun? Yung bigla na lang kayong matatawa kasi parang naalala nyo, ay, Ang taka ko naman nun, ganyan. So, that only means na nagmature ka na. Kasi yung mga uh, past actions mo, kung saan uh, frustrated ka noon, tatawanan mo lang siya ngayon, right? Okay, another is you're slowing down. Diba dati, excited kang tumanda. Ng mga kabataan natin, excited tayong tumanda. Parang gusto na nating tumanda na tayo. Ayaw na nating maging bata. But, as you progress in life, you value your pace, okay? You slow down. Okay? And another is you're starting to care more about how you feel as opposed to what other people think. Okay? So, hindi mo na masyadong kinikare yung oh, sasabihin kasi nila, ganito, ganyan. So, you value what you you feel. Okay? You validate what you feel. Okay? You care more about what you feel than others might tell about you. Okay? Another is you're processing feelings you forgot about. Okay? Yung mga lumang uh, unprocessed feelings mo, yung mga uh, dating unresolved feelings mo, you are processing that one by one. Parang binabalikan mo. Uh, you are reassessing yourself. Next is, you are aware of what's wrong even if you don't know what would be right. Okay? So, kahit na hindi ka sure kung tama yung ginagawa mo, at least alam mo na mali yung isang bagay. You ha- have the discernment of what is wrong and right. Okay? At least, you know how to assess what is wrong. Okay? So, all other is, you are more concerned with being happy than being successful. ba? So, ano bang importante? Successful ka or happy ka? Kasi, you can never tell naman what success means, ba? Unless nandun ka na. Each one of us here has different level of success. Hindi tayo pare-parehas. Okay? For others, ang successful sa kanila is yung magkaroon ng family and magkaroon ng anak. For others naman, magkaroon ng uh, successful business, iba-iba tayo ng level of success. Okay? So, whether your success shall be uh, finishing school or uh, having a wonderful family, it's up to you. Okay? So, as long as you are happy, I know you are successful. No? So, lastly, that I can tell you, if you're progressing, is that you're beginning to understand that there is no finish line. Okay? So, walang magmamadali. There's no finish line. Okay? Pag finish line, patay ka na. Right? You know, you have to remember to take everything at your own pace. Huwag kang magmadali. Take everything slowly. Okay? 
slowly but surely. Kasi sabi nga nila, pag mas, mad- mas mabilis ka, mas mas laki yung chance mo na magkakamali ka. Okay? So, yun. Okay. According to Banderlipe et al. in 2019, the following are some characteristic of human flourishing. Number one, all humans aim to flourish. Okay? Who among you doesn't like to flourish? Diba? Sinong gusto, sinong ayaw ng growth? Okay? We are all in this institution kasi gusto natin ng growth. Diba? Okay, another is human flourishing involves putting into action one's capacities, capabilities, and virtues. Okay, so as you flourish in life, kailangan mong malaman na kung ano yung virtues mo sa buhay. That is very much important and nobody has the right to tamper your own virtues. Okay, kung ano yung paniniwala mo, paglaban mo. Kasi uh, alam mo sa sarili mo na tama ka, you are right, kahit ano pang sabihin nila. Okay? Human flourishing depends on free will. Okay? Uh, walang namimilit sa'yo to progress in life. Okay? It is all about your free will. Another is human flourishing is sustained over time. So, ang um, flourishing or ang growth mo as a human being, it doesn't stop when you grow old or when you graduate from school. You will continuously flourish as you encounter new activities or new uh, experiences in life. And then, human flourishing involves doing well in broad domains of human life. Okay, it is very much important to get out of the box. Okay, you have to experience the entirety of being human outside the house, outside this institution, or outside your comfort zone. You will not grow if you will be uh, uh, confining yourself inside that comfort zone of yours. Okay? So, now let us know who is Jackson Hickel. Sino ba siya? So, Jackson Hickel is an economic anthropologist whose research focuses on global inequality and political ecology. He is known for his books, The Divide, A Brief Guide to Global Inequality and Its Solution in 2017, and Less is More, How the Growth Will Save the World in 2020. So, ano ba tong libro ni Jason Hickel na to, nung The Divide? So, it has been about the excellent discourse on how poverty has been deliberately created and maintained across much of the globe through Western colonialism and how economists of Western countries like USA, UK, and another European powers benefited from the looting of the global south. Okay? So, it is a brief guide to global inequality. It looks at the bigger issue of the gulf between the richest and the poorest in the world. So, this The Divide book by Jason Hickel is a timely reminder of the pain, misery, and suffering forced on so many worldwide in the name of development. So, para lang for the sake of development, there are people na nasagasaan and that it caused so much pain and misery. Okay? While the book Less is More by Jason Hickel talks about the capitalism that happens in the world, okay, that uh, causes the world to have climate breakdown and ecological collapse. Wherein he believed that the growth will save the world. Okay, what is the growth? The growth is a term used for both a political, economic, and social movement as well as a set of theories that critics the paradigm of economic growth. He is a professor at the Institute for Environmental Science and Technology at the Autonomous University of Barcelona. He is a visiting senior fellow at the International Inequalities Institute at the London School of Economics and the fellow of the Royal Society of Arts. He challenges us to rethink and reflect on the different paradigm of the development. So, according to Jason Hickel, the concept of the development talks about forgetting developing poor countries. It's time to, to develop rich countries. Instead of pushing poor countries to catch up with rich ones, we should be getting rich countries to catch down. So, sabi niya, dahil nahihirapan naman yung mga uh, mahihirap na countries humabol, okay? baka naman siguro kailangan ang mag-adjust yung mga matataas na country. Okay? So, uh, if they continue developing nga naman kasi, 
how can others or yung mga mas mabababa doon sa matataas na country redevelop themselves or mas lalo pang mag-develop? Eh, naiiwanan nga sila. Because, ma- ano, kung saan sila kukuha ng resources nila, eh, mahirap nga yung country nila. So, ang idea niya, so, kung, kung nahihirapan tong malilit na country na tong mag-develop, bakit kaya hindi yung mga bigger country or yung richer country yung mag-develop? And the sustainable development groups are about to offer a fresh plan for how to save the world. Okay, more progressive types tell us that we need to shift some of the yields of growth from the richer segments of the population to the poorer ones, evening things out a bit. Neither approach is adequate. 70% of the people in the middle and high-income countries believe overconsumption is putting our planet and society at risk. So, do you believe that? Baka nga naman dahil sa overconsumption, no? Kasi as we uh, crave for new technologies, it also connives with our wants, di ba? Habang naggugusto tayo ng mga bagong technology or bagong discoveries when it comes to for example food, 'di ba? Bakit natin kailangan ng mga pagkain na hindi naman kailangan ng katawan natin? It can only cause us cancer, 'di ba? So, yung ma uh, yung pagkakagusto natin to have things uh, that are far from normal or natural like yung mga uh, genetically engineered foods, di ba? It can also cause us harm instead of supplying nutrients sa body natin, di ba? Some of the foods being discovered just like our noodles can cause cancer, di ba? So, it can also put ourselves at risk or the whole society, di ba? So, according to Hickel, that the pundits are promoting this kind of transition are using the wrong language. They use terms such as de-growth, zero-growth, or worst of all, de-development. The idea of steady state, economics is a step in the right direction and is growing in popularity, but it still doesn't get the framing right. Either we slow down voluntarily or climate change will do it for us. We can go on ignoring the laws of nature, but rethinking our theory of progress is not only an ecological imperative, it is also a development one. If we do not act soon, all our hard-won gains against poverty will evaporate as food systems collapse and mass famine re-emerges to an extent not seen since the 19th century. The world is developing at a fast rate. So, anong sabi dito? Kung hindi tayo magsuslow down, si Mother Earth na ang bahala sa atin. Di ba? You can see, climate change has been giving us answers for our queries. The cli- climate, our climate, has been telling us to slow down. Di ba? Ano nangyayari? Natural disasters happens. Di ba? Natural disasters such as typhoon like that slows our economy because as we as uh, as our economy uh, grows, okay, a lot of our natural resources are being destroyed, diba? So ano ginagawa ng modern nature? It helps us to slow down, diba? So if we are not going to slow down ourselves, baka si modern nature ang magpaslow down sa atin, diba? Okay, so let's take a look at the summary of this chapter. Okay, it says here that different cultures have different views on human flourishing. Science and technology have certain roles to play in human flourishing, of course, because science and technology is a way of telling whether a country has been progressing, diba? Jason Hickel claimed more growth or shifting growth from developed or developing nations are inadequate strategies to finally end the problem of poverty. He asserted we have continually going past our capacity to generate supply of renewable resources and to observe surplus. Hickel said that instead of poor countries catching up to grow as much as rich countries, rich countries should consider reaching more appropriate levels of development. So, sino nanonood dito ng Maria Clara at Ibarra? Diba sinabi ni Maria Clara doon na 
baka nga naman kailangan ng mga mayayaman mag-adjust para sa may hirap, di ba? Hindi naman sa magpapalugi sila, di ba? Doon sa, uh, sa claim ni, ni Maria Clara doon, uh, lalong naghihirap yung may hirap kasi yung mga mayayaman lalong yung mayaman. Diba? So, ang point lang naman ni Maria Clara doon, bakit kaya hindi uh, tulungan din nung mayayaman yung mga may hirap na umangat? Para hindi lang sila yung umaangat. So, panoorin nyo yung part na yun kasi it somehow tackles about the, the development here in our topic. Okay? And he asserted that countries may consider the development a shift of focus from economic growth to life expectancy and happiness. According to Hickel, Solutions to achieving this goal include banning advertising, a shorter working week, and the basic income. Okay, so this is the summary of this chapter. Okay, so I hope you have learned something. And please accomplish the activities that will be given to you. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of the day and bye!